Hey everybody, how's it going, boys? Scholarship, we're here and welcome back for more Paper Mario. <coughs> Last time, we got to Shiver City, did some exploring, we solved a uh, penguin or a backroom penguin murder mystery or whatever with a lazy detective, and we also went east of town now that the mayor allowed us to, and we beat up Junior Troopa, who I'm not sure if he's still here or not. Oh yeah, there he is. Actually, now he's frozen, but still. Let's uh, continue east and let's see what we can run into. Ooh. Looks like there's a panel around here for a uh, star piece. Ooh, looks like I found it. Yeah, alright. Star pieces are always fun. And, ooh, and we have some really good music over here. But also, there's actually something kind of weird here. We can get a letter up here if I remember correctly. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I love how like, the portions of the tree fly upward on that. It's so random. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else in trees back here. And we got some snowmen that... Looks like a couple of them are missing some clothing. Interesting. I'll worry, we'll worry about that later. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else over here. Let's see this tree. Is anything? Nope. Well, let's keep going east. Yeah, so, uh... For those of you who do not know, there's a, a video... A guy who makes video game videos. Ugh, pretty uh, straightforward there. And uh, his name is... Uh, or at least his username, or he's known as Pro Jared. Um, he's pretty cool. I, I like his videos. They're pretty funny and they're in informative, so he's cool. And uh, but um, I saw on his channel that he had videos that he did the Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge. Ouch! Holy crap! That did a lot of damage. Ow! I'm getting pooped on here. I didn't realize those guys did seven damage with those rocks. Holy cow! But anyway, um, yeah, uh, the the Nuzlocke challenge. I've never heard of it before, but uh, I checked it out. It's actually kind of cool. It, it looks like it'd be kind of fun to try. It'd be challenging, but uh, it'd be really like hardcore, you know, like, oh man, you can only use the Pokemon to capture here. It's the first one you run to. That looks really interesting, though. Ouch. Oh, okay, that one only did five damage. Hmm, interesting. Well, anyway... Since we are here, this is actually one of the places where we can uh, do the limit of power bounces, which is kind of interesting. Um, let's see, for this turn, I'm just going to heal up. I'm just going to use Smooch. I haven't showed this off yet, so we'll use Smooch. Uh, that heals 20 HP, if I remember correctly. But, um, you see those rocks back there that those, uh, whatever you call them, walruses? I don't freaking know what you call them, but they're spitting at me. Ouch. Well... There's only one left, so we'll just attempt it here. I'm just going to attack him, first of all. But, uh, you can actually power bounce on them. Or attack them, should I say. And let's see if I can do it. Ah, crap. That sucked. I'm going to have to do some practicing, but at some point in this uh, chapter, I intend to do that, because you can do a total of 101, so... I'll make sure I can capture that at some point. And uh, maybe I'll have to equip the badge to make the action command easier. I don't know. I know I've done it before without it, so it's not that bad. It's just I gotta do a little bit of practicing with my timing. But yeah, so that's uh, one of the things you can uh, get that on. So just thought I'd point that out to you guys, because I like to be in, as informative as possible. Um, I was just thinking about how much stuff I like try to cover, and that's just sort of like my mindset for everything. Like with uh, Let's Plays, you know, I, I want to try to cover everything possible, you know, I want to I wanna cover this, 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 I want to show off all these abilities, I want to uh, do all the side quests, and that's just sort of the mindset I have with everything, like uh, in speech class, I would always like go over the time limit when I was practicing, because I'd put way too much information into like a six minute speech, like my chess, uh, our first speech was, I believe it had to be four to six minutes, something like that. And, uh, mine was gonna be, like, how to play the game of chess. <laughs> and, you know, I, like, never play it, but I, I know how to play it. I used to, we played it a lot in, like, 5th and 6th grade, so I, I know how to play it still and everything. But, um, ooh, look at it, invisible. Guess we're not gonna get that. Whoa, that thing's creepy. Turn back, come no farther, turn away or I'll eat you. What do you think, scary monster, aren't I? You know you want to run. Yeah, let's fight him. What? You will regret this. 
Oh yeah, we have a mini boss, and it is the Monstar. Not monster, it's a monstar, guys. Yeah, kind of a strange mini boss, but you'll see it in a little bit. Wow, we just destroyed him with that. But um, yeah, with my uh my chest speech, like I timed myself after I brought out everything because I wanted to cover, you know, what the heck? There's like Star Storm on us or something. I don't know how to block that. Oh, <laughs> I did one damage. Well, are you scared yet? No, not really. But um. I tried to, uh, cover everything, and I ended up going, like, 11 minutes when I practiced myself. And this is, of course, the night before with my speech. I wrote every speech the night before. There's, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on senior year. Well, guess it was just a bunch of stars. Well, that's pretty lame. Anyway, let's, uh, get this, and, uh, it's a stopwatch. Don't care. We'll just toss that. I never really use stopwatches. I can just use timeout if I need to. But, um, yeah, so, it, it was, I always try to cover way too much stuff. Ah, you're Mario, yes, thank you for coming. How do you do? I'm called Merle. I care for the star kids born here in Starborn Valley. There are many things I must tell you, but not here. Come, let's go into my house. I cannot concentrate out here in the cold. This way, please, follow me. Alright, well, this place is pretty peaceful. I can see living here. I must apologize for the rude reception of the Star Kids. None of us expected that you'd come so quickly. They frightened strangers to try to keep the valley safe from Bowser's followers. Please, you must forgive them. What if we don't? Yeah. We can forgive them for defending their chill village here. Come in, please. I hope there's cookies. Now, Mario, you must heed well to what I'm about to tell you. This frozen area is called Starborn Valley. It is named this because it is here that stars are born and raised before rising to the sky. But now, ever since Bowser stole the Star Rod from Star Haven, the power of that place has weakened and Star Kids have found themselves unable to rise up into the sky. I sent a ninja to my father, Merlin, hoping that I could coax you into coming here. <laughs> because I have found out where the last Star Spirit is. It came to me in a dream, a vision of the last Star Spirit begging me for help. If my vision speaks truly, then the last star spirit is being held atop Shiver Mountain, which lies to the north. Up, up top sits the Crystal Palace. The star spirit waits there. The Crystal Palace was originally built to honor the stars, but as time passed, it slowly faded from the memories of local people, and now no one can remember how to reach the palace. There's a way, though, and it involves items that have been passed down in these lands. Here, take this. Ooh, looks like a scarf. For Gryffindor! An ordinary scarf from Mertley in Starborn Valley. This scarf has been passed down throughout many generations in Starborn Valley. I wish I knew how to use it, but I do not. I do. According to the legends, you must use this and another item that has been passed down to Shiver City. You can, if you hope to open the way to the Crystal Palace. Sadly, that's all I know. Alright. <laughs> if things remain as they are, Star Kids will never again be able to rise in Star Haven. Such a fate would be awful. Please help them and expel Bowser from the sky. Well, all right, dude. Oh. Oh, yes, Mario. I almost forgotten. There's a, supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along the path to the Crystal Palace. The legend has been handed down in this valley regarding the shrine's secret. Truth lies not only in the eyes, but sometimes even walls may lie. Confusing, yes, but you must find this shrine and solve its mystery to reach the Crystal Palace. Please don't forget it. Alright. I'll remember it. What's this guy doing? Creeping on the white kids? You found me! What, did you see me glittering? Hey, do you think I can rise into the sky soon? Never. Let's see. I don't think there's anything else really significant here. Um, let's see what's in this house. Because I really like this town. It's so chill. I'm cooking for the star kids. They're behaving pretty well. That's a relief. It's probably because they believe you'll get the Star Rod back. I certainly hope you do. Tell me a story! Tell me a story about the time you saved the Star Spirit! No. But yeah. Uh, I, I, I definitely love winter. Winter is so beautiful and so relaxing. And it's always nice and relatively light out. It's not like... No. It, it's just really nice and happy. Let's see what this guy says. Please, get the Star Rod back from Bowser and Mario. The Mushroom Kingdom deserves to be at peace. Good luck. Well, before we do that, let's rest up here. Yeah, we'll take a nap. 
And then we're going to head back to Shiver City to see if we can find that item that's been passed down for generations. I don't know, that'd be awesome. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I wish you luck. Thanks, dude. Alright. Let's head back. There isn't much to run into here. We got the letter. I think that's one of the last letters. I do have to grab one. Ah, crap. I do have to grab one in Dry Dry Desert, actually. Um, it's the one uh, by... Well, you know what? We're going to use... I'm gonna use some shooting stars up and get some money back. But, um, it's the one by Colorado's camp, actually, uh, where, where his tent used to be when we just entered Dry Dry Desert. Well, now it's moved because uh, he went with us to Lava Lava Island and stuff, so now we can uh, slap that tree with our hammer and get a letter, so it's kind of nice. Ouch. Looks like that does a variety of damage. I had no idea. <laughs> Interesting. See how much this one does. Five. And if I would have defended it, we're going down three. Or I mean, uh, let's see, four. Yeah, never mind. That's interesting, though. I I didn't realize that they had uh, different attack powers. Maybe we're just gonna use another shooting star. <laughs> I really don't care. I want to use these up because uh, I want to get some money back so I can buy that uh, mega quick badge when we get done with this chapter. Let's see. All right, we're actually getting pretty close to leveling up too. That's pretty sweet. But yeah, anyway, with my speeches, I would always, like, put way too much content in, because that's just the mindset I have. I always want to cover everything, make sure everyone understands everything, you know, all of that. Hmm, I wonder if that scarf belongs to this guy. Oh, well, would you look at that? It looks like this guy, it's a snowman. It's a snowman. I wonder what this one's going to say. Oh, it's a snowman. Yeah, it looks like he's missing a hat, so let's see if we can find a hat. And let's just whack this tree because it's cool watching those things fly away. Anyway, um, we're going to head back here. And Junior Troopa is still here in a frozen ice cube. That's hilarious. But I don't know. That's just how I am with uh, covering things. and I don't know. It's just how I roll, I guess. Oh, this place is so happy. Let's check out the item shop, actually. Because I'm actually unaware of what they have. Life Shroom, Super Shroom, okay, so there's some decent items. Um, hmm, interesting. And let's see, what do I have in my inventory? Life Shroom, Maple Shroom, Jelly Ultra, I sell that for 150. You don't really use that too much. I mean, it's just for really the last chapter, because the last chapter is kind of tough. Maple Syrup, Life Shroom, alright. Um, well, actually, I'm going to sell that Voltron, because I'll never use it, because I got Zap Tap. And that badge will not be coming off anytime soon. And that's good. I'm just going <laughs> to... He's like, come chill with us again soon. That's funny. All right, I'm going to store the Jelly Ultra then. Nope. Come chill out anytime. Ha! <laughs> that's great. Oh, penguins are so great. Hey, it looks like another snowman. Interesting. Alright, well, let's go talk to the mayor, because he's the only one that'll probably know anything. The other guys are going to want to kill us. Looks like there's a star piece panel nearby. Let's see if I can find that, too. Where could it be? This animal that I did see. Can you help guess this mystery? Where the heck is it? It's got to be over here. There it is. I'm gonna say it's not gonna be like on the roof or something. All right, let's go in here and uh, let's see what Mayor Penguin has to say. Hmm. Let's see what she says. She's a jerk. Hi there. How are you? Herringway's mystery novels have become very popular here in Shiver City, you know. But when I became a character in a mystery, I realized I'm not fond of books like that. I'm so serious. I mean it. Only Penguin poetry for me now. Poetry. <laughs> oh, Mario, did you reach Starborn Valley? Did you see Merle? Oh, excellent. He said, what? An item that's been passed down in the city? Hmm, all right, there was something like that. Just a minute, I think I've got somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not a poetry person. I'm not an English person in general. Yes, I found it. Here it is. You got the bucket. Sweet. This bucket has been passed down through the years in Shiver City. As Merle must have told you, there's a legend associated with it. If you use this and the scarf together, the way to the Crystal Palace will open. Who knows what all that means, though. Ha! I don't know the slightest clue as to how to use them together. Sounds like the Star Kit and Starborn Valley are in trouble. 
I hope you do your best for the little tykes. They're just kids. Best of luck to you. Well, thank you. But yeah, I <laughs> I can't stand, like, any English class. Poetry especially, I don't like poetry in general. Um, I like stories, but not, like, writing and bleh, doing that stuff. It's just not my interest. But anyway, guys, from here on, we're gonna, or from this point, we're gonna call it an episode. Uh, we already, we got to Starborn Valley, we talked to Merle, and now we've got both items for, uh, that were passed down in cities, so now hopefully we can open up the way to the Crystal Palace and, uh, get closer to the last, uh, Star Spirit. So anyway, guys, this has been Boy Scholarship Wii. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, guys, keep gaming and peace out. See you later.